What is going on everybody? I uh, just wanted to make a quick video on degluing wheels. Um, basically, start like this, get them to this, and they end up looking like this at the end. These wheels weren't too beat up. They did have some scratches on them, but uh, just after giving them a nice wipe down with like an abrasive pad, um, basically takes off most of this stuff, which is nice. So I'll show you how I cut these. I did try with a knife, try and get close to the edge before, and uh, yeah, it just takes too long to do that. So I just take curved uh, body Lexan scissors, and if you stay close to the edge here, so I'll just cut a little bit, get the scissors in, and if you stay up on the edge, you basically won't cut the foam. I mean, so far I haven't cut any foams doing this way, and you could do it pretty quickly. So I have, uh, a whole bunch I just done here beside me and I just figured I'd make a little video about it um, next year I want to do more races so I have to get more tires and it's just cheaper to buy them without the rims and just take the time now to do this since it's winter so you see foam I mean you could keep this I mean I have been keeping some of them but I didn't even cut into the foam which is nice doing it that way and just take a little bigger set because kind of nicer to hold and just go as close as I can almost to the edge here just to get as much of this off as I can and you may you know touch the rim you just, you just find the right angle and it just cuts very easily and then I like to flip over the other side here cut through it Get onto the next side, and then yeah, once you find that angle, it just basically does not take that long at all. So then I got a container downstairs I'll show you with the tires in there. They've been sitting for about eight hours now, basically while it's at work. And then that's about it. So you're just being left with this ring. This is like the other one I have here. Let it sit in the acetone for a while. I mean, you could keep going and checking uh, but I just like to leave it in there half the day, go back, flip it, like I'll peel it off, flip it over, let it sit for another whatever, six, eight hours, come back, peel it off, very easy. So this is basically one that I have finished and I even used uh, at the end after you clean it up, it was 220 uh, sandpaper and it just basically got rid of everything and then just cleaned up the edges a bit because like you can see on... I think this one's not too bad actually. The little chunks are taken out. This one's kind of bad here too. The tire's kind of covering it, but um, yeah, you can go in there and then clean them up a bit. So I don't even care if they look dirty like this, just as long as there's a nice spot for the wheel to mount, it's not a problem. So yeah, and even not too long to do all of these. So that worked out pretty nice. So let's go see how they are in the tank and uh, a Vasitone there and see how easy they come off. So well, here's the container with my four wheels in there. You can see, or can I get a better angle of this? I just basically have enough acetone in there to basically cover the, the bottom um, bead of whatever tires left on there. Because you, you could fill this up all the way and get both done at one time but it's just a lot of acetone. So I'll open it up. I just went to the dollar store, got this container. Oh, man, acetone stinks. That's why I'm not doing this in the house, in the garage. Gloves on, of course, you want some gloves. And then boom, it just peels right off. This one has, this happens sometimes, you just get one little tiny spot for some reason. It seems to really stick on there. But yeah, that's it. That one's done, I already did the other side. Um, let's check this one. See, that one fell right off. And these wheels actually kind of gave a pre-cleaning. I wanted to try that out too. So you can even see in the bottom there is definitely still um, some glue left. And even like this, oh, I shouldn't have thrown that back in. I just have like a little rag here. I'll try and clump the glue together. I mean, that's why I hit it up with the sandpaper after. But even the top one, well, the top one's come off a little bit, but we'll just flip it back over, 
I'll take this out because no need for keeping that in there. Garbage. And then the last one here. Boom. I think it also depends on the glue that people use. Because I had one where the glue was like yellow. And then the one with the clear glue, like these ones, just came right off. So we'll just flip it back over. Take that guy back out. Nice and easy. I'm going to try this yellow wheel too. I don't know if it's going to change the color of it or I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. But I got some more. Once these are done, I'll just put a whole set of four in here. And then you can still even fit two truggy wheels side to side. So I'm not in a rush for truggy wheels. I kind of need the buggy wheels first. So this worked out. Or I can just go get another container and do that. But that's it. So let it sit in there, make sure it's sealed because acetone will evaporate. So you could be losing some of this. And then when I'm done, I will just put it back in the can. So these wheels are done. They basically are already clean, but I'll try and clean them up a little bit more and we'll see what they look like at the end. So yeah, these wheels are a little too clean already because like I said, I pre-cleaned these ones just to see if that would help. We're gonna try this one. And there's no soap. I don't put any soap, but just use one of these. Use the abrasive side. Got this dollar store. You can get them like a pack of ten for a buck. So I'm gonna just get some water on there. Put the wheel down. Just give it some scrubs. And that's the thing that was nice about getting these at the dollar store. They do kind of fall apart because <laughs> I guess it's. Uh, you know, you can see it coming off here. But these wheels did take a pretty good beating as well. And if you don't get everything cleaned off as you would like, you still could hit it with the sandpaper and actually take out some of the, the grooves cut in it. It is kind of hard to get into the lettering as well. But just giving it a couple little scrubs like this, It looks pretty good already. I mean, there's some here that's not seeming to come out, but I mean, if you really want them to be super white, yeah, just kind of give them a sanding down. I was just trying this. So that could actually be glue. I didn't think about that too. Some of the spots you may think that are dirty, like when I did uh, some of the other ones, they're just basically, the glue is still on there. I'll try and this hot racing one was a little worse. And there's a lot more lettering on it, so. We'll see how this one comes out. But to me, it doesn't matter. It could still look all beat up, but as long as where the um, tire sits and that's good, that's really all that matters. So, yeah, we could definitely get better you know, cleaning at these. These ones I weren't keeping anyways. I wasn't gonna keep, I mean, I just was just showing them for the video because I already do have enough buggy wheels and I don't need to save every single one. And even some of these other ones are actually, well, this one's pretty good looking, but have like chunks or cracks in them. So, but yeah, no, this one doesn't look too bad. I mean, this Proline one, I technically already did pre-clean before I had it in the, um, acetone, but yeah, comes out looking nice. So, and then you can just hit it with the sandpaper to get off these little bits of glue that are still kind of on there and just make it look new after. So that was just a quick little video showing you how to reuse your wheels, save you some money and, uh, hopefully that works out for you. Thanks for watching.